Chitty Mitran. In today's chess video, I'm going to show you the game analysis of Vishy Anand versus Yen Nepomniachtchi that was played in the Fidi Nations Chess.com Cup. Vishy Anand is playing the white pieces and he opens the game with pawn to d4. After pawn to d4, knight to f6, c4, g6, and knight to c3, d5. This is known as the Grunfeld defense and Anand captures. C captures d5, knight captures d5, and bishop to d2. After bishop to d2, bishop to g7, simply developing the bishop and now e4. Knight captures c3 and bishop captures c3, and now Nepo strikes on the center with pawn to c5. After pawn to c5, d5. Bishop takes c3, b takes c3, and now queen to d6. Simply stopping ideas of f4. And now queen to d2. Renewing the threat of f4 and now Nepo simply castles. After castles, as planned, Anand plays f4. He simply gains more space and in the future he will play c4, cement this pawn structure. Now Nepo sees that if he wishes to stay in the game, he must play the move pawn to e6, trying to break open the center of white. After e6, knight to f3 and now e captures d5. You can capture e captures d5, but white chooses to maintain the pressure with bishop to c4. After bishop to c4, bishop to e6 and now castles. Now he will play e captures d5, where he can play knight to e5 ideas as possible. Now after castles, d4 is played by Nepo. And here, pause the video for a few seconds and try to find out a good plan for white. Well, I hope you have found out the correct response, which is pawn to f5. You simply sacrifice this bishop, and after bishop captures c4, e5. You use these three pawns to harass the black queen further. And now, Nepo plays queen to d7, and after f6, he simply resigned the game. Why did he resign the game so fast? Now, if you play bishop takes f1, then after queen to h6, there is no stopping queen to g7 checkmate. So you have to play king to h8, and after queen h6, you are attacking this rook, and you are threatening queen to g7, which is a checkmate. So rook to g8 is forced, and now knight to g5. And now, if you play a move like queen to h3, maybe trying to give up the queen, then you simply play knight captures f7, which is a beautiful smaller checkmate. Let's see, why should have Nepo played the move queen to d7? He could simply have played queen to b6. I will see the possibilities of the queen to b6 move now. After queen to b6, f6, and now knight d7. Queen to h6, and after knight captures f6, you do not play e captures f6 because after queen captures f6, there is no initiative for white, but you simply play knight to g5. You use this knight as a very weakness because if you play knight to g4 now, then queen captures f7 is a checkmate. So after bishop takes f1, e takes f6, now you are threatening queen to g7 checkmate. So after queen captures f6, you simply play the move queen captures f7, which is a beautiful checkmate. So thank you for watching the video till the end, friends. I will be visiting you with more videos on chess opening traps, middle game strategies, end game strategies, and opening games very soon. So stay tuned to that as well. Until then, goodbye, friends. Thank you for watching our Chittimitran videos, friends. If you like our video, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get immediate notification on our new videos. Please do like our videos and share your valuable comments in the comment box below. Thank you and have a great day friends.